Hey guys, on today's video, we're gonna be setting up your brand new iPad. So very briefly, this is your charger. So this, you would connect up here to your wall outlet, and then this will go down here below to charge up your iPad. Now, what I suggest doing with any iPads, putting a screen protector first and getting some type of case for it. So just be aware of that. You do not need to charge it right away unless it comes without any battery charge, but usually they do. Actually, 99.9% .9 of the time, they come charged up. So the first thing we're gonna do is power it up. Your power button is up here. So it's the only button that you guys will see on top of your iPad. So just hold on to that. We're gonna see an Apple logo loading up in just a little bit. And there we go. So we should see an Apple logo, and that means it's starting up. If you guys had an iPad before, you can transfer everything throughout iCloud, or you can hook it up to your computer in order to transfer everything. That way you don't have that five gig limit that iCloud gives you for free. So we're just gonna press the home button and then we see this screen. Once we see this screen, we're gonna select English if that's the language you guys wanna set it up as. And then we're gonna keep going with the whole setup. Let me just zoom in a little bit more for you. So I placed the iPad just like this horizontal. We can also do that. We're just gonna select any country. So it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna pick Canada for now. You guys can switch that up later on if you like to but pick USA if that's where you're at. So if you guys have an iPhone or something like that, you can do this, all right? Which is the quick start, or you can set up manually. I'm gonna assume you guys don't have, for this video specifically, an iPhone nearby or another iPad, okay? There will be a second video where I'm gonna show you guys how to do this quick start. For now, we're gonna set it up manually. So, set up manually. That's assuming that you guys never had an Apple device before. And then we're gonna go into whatever Wi-Fi network you guys have. Once you join that network, this is the next screen you will see. The whole setup process is actually quite easy. So we're just gonna go continue and then set up Touch ID if you guys want to. So that would be pressing right here. And it's gonna tell you to press a bunch of times. So I'm gonna do that right now. So I'm just gonna press the home button. Press the home button. So I'm just placing my finger. I'm not really doing that clicking sound on it. I'm just putting up and down, up and down, up and down until he gets it. And then it's gonna ask me to just adjust my grip. Exactly this, I'm gonna put continue. So I'll finish that. By the way, you guys can always skip this. You do not need your fingerprint if you guys don't want to put in your fingerprint, okay? So we're just gonna press continue and we're gonna create a passcode. Again, you do not need to put a passcode if you guys don't want to. There's always gonna be other options. So down here below, you guys will see passcode options. We can tap right there, and then here, we're gonna see all these options, right? So if you guys want to put a different passcode or just skip this all together, you could, but we would have to skip already the fingerprint. However, we did the fingerprint, so right now we can't skip this part. So let's just create a passcode for now. I'm just gonna go and create the most, the easiest passcode in the world. Then I'm gonna use um, use anyway. I'm gonna re-enter it. I suggest using something better than this, unless you guys don't care. If you guys don't care, might as well skip the passcode. At this point, it's gonna ask you if you guys want to transfer anything from your past iPad, if you guys had one before, or really from anywhere. However, we're assuming you guys are brand new for this particular video. I'm gonna do another one where it's gonna be different. We're gonna set it up with your iPad or your iPhone, and that way it's gonna be much faster. So we're gonna choose, don't transfer anything. And right here, this is important. So if you guys don't have, at this point in time, an Apple ID, you guys can always, always go right here, use different Apple IDs for iCloud and iTunes. You can always choose that, okay? If you guys have an Apple ID, you would just put it here. If you guys forgot or don't have an Apple ID, you guys can always create one right here, okay? So I'm assuming most of you wouldn't have an Apple ID at this point. So again, you would choose this option and then create Apple ID, which is your second option, and just fill up all the information that it gives you. Once you guys create that, just put it in and you guys will it will take you into this, okay? So let's say you guys want to use different Apple IDs for iCloud and iTunes. You guys can choose that option down here. I'm just showing you all the options that you guys have. 
However, for most of you, this will not be it, by the way. <laughs> That's only for some of you who have different Apple IDs. I'm just going to go back. And if you guys have an Apple ID, like I mentioned, just put it right here. Now, although I highly, highly suggest putting in your Apple ID or create one right now, you could set it up without an Apple ID. That's another option. So it's actually the same way that we go right here. But this time we're going to see in the bottom, it says set up later in settings. We can always do that. So we can just put don't use. And from here, we just put agree. We go on to continue. This is up to you guys. You guys can enable or disable. I say go ahead. Siri, this is really cool because hey Siri should work right away. So you guys should be able to say hey Siri and then this will recognize your voice without you guys having to touch or press on the home button like we used to do before. So it's pretty cool if you guys want to set this up. If you don't, you guys can always skip that. So I'm just gonna show you how to set that up and then we might skip it in the end, but who knows? Let's just go on to continue. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, send a message. Who do you want to send it to? Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, play some music. And that's how you guys set up Hey Siri for the first time on an iPad. Then you guys can just go on to continue. Screen time. This is one of those things that I would suggest not to set up because this setup is only if you're giving this to your kids, I would suggest. <laughs> because uh, most of you wouldn't really care how much time you're spending on your iPad. That's what this is. It also enables restrictions. So you guys can restrict downloading apps or restrict content. There's a lot of parental control that you guys can do within screen time. If this is for you guys, not for your kids, then you guys can set this up later or never set it up since it's only for you. So I'm just going to put set up later in settings because that's really only if your parents, you would set that up. We're just going to go share with Apple. If you guys want to, you can choose not to share. I'm going to put share. Now there's the light appearance and then the dark. I'm a fan of the dark appearance. To me, it looks a lot cleaner. This now hurts my eyes. This is so much better for me particularly. So we're just going to go for that. Because I just recommend it. Because it looks a lot sharper and nicer. We're going to go continue. Continue. So this does give you a quick guide into what you guys can do. And some of the things that you should know when you're getting to an iPad. So at this point, we are actually all done. Your setup's done. You guys can go ahead and use your iPad. Now for you guys that haven't used an iPad before, there's a few things you should know. For example, if you slide your finger this way, you will get this stuff, which you guys can mess around with. So you guys could have your calendar here and you guys can have all the widgets you guys like right here on the side window. So I'm gonna put that back. Something else to know is if you slide your finger this way, you will see this. So you can control your volume. One of the options to control your volume, obviously you guys have the buttons, your brightness, Bluetooth, AirDrop, which is the coolest thing ever. So I'm going to put that to everyone for now. You guys can also AirPlay if you guys have an Apple TV. You guys could AirPlay to that. Camera and then AirPlay mode. Okay, so it's really good to know that stuff. There's a lot of gestures that you guys can do. There's also a gesture from down here below. If you go up, if I had apps open, let me just open some apps for you to do this. So, yeah. I'm going to open this up as well. Okay. So if I slide up right now, I should be able to see my apps here. That's one way. You guys can also do this. And that's another way to view them. You guys can close them like so. Because if you guys just close them by doing this, for example, pressing your home button, which you can do, that minimizes the app itself. But you're not really closing it. Right now, if you guys really want to close it, you do that and then just swipe up. And that's how you truly close an app. So this is a really quick, rough tutorial into getting started with your iPad, but I do have a full one here on my channel, so don't worry about it. Anyways, that would be it for this setup video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write it down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.